Hey again, y'all. It's me coming back from my bathroom again because it's still got the best lighting in the house. Today, I'm about to go scuba diving, so let me tell you, I didn't even pick up a broom to clean up the mess or bother to move my son's pants out of the floor. So, we're just going to dive right in. I'm going to tell you a little bit about arm socks. And some of you may have never heard of arm socks, but they're, you know, some people call them sleeves or you may have another name for them. Um, they work kind of like the sleeves of a rash guard or something. You just put them on your arms and they help you to get your wetsuit on easier. You don't have to buy a full dive skin or um, whatever. So, you know, if you don't have problems getting your boots on, don't want to buy the socks or um, don't want something on your legs all the time, but just want something on your arms, then these will be great for you. Uh, let's see. I forgot that I need to have a wash rag and wet my arms a little bit. So y'all are just gonna have to bear with me just a second while I get this wet. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I'm gonna get my arms a little bit damp and then I'm gonna show y'all um, how it works to put on a wetsuit or not. Um, so here goes. And hey, guess what? I have freshly shaved legs today. Yep. Just did that before I started this video. So, um, we're going to do left arm, no sleeve. Let's see, now what? Take that back. We're going to do left arm with a sleeve because I'm right-handed. So, that might give my right arm an unfair advantage and we wouldn't want to do that. So, here goes no sleeve first, okay? And I'm not putting the whole thing on right now because that's a pain in the tuchus and I'm obviously not going to scuba dive in my backyard. So. Alright, there we go. Didn't take too long. Wasn't terrible. And with the sleeve. Oh, that one's seeming a little harder today probably because it's my left arm. But anyway, same goes again for getting things back off and getting things back off. A little bit easier that way. So I'm going to do this again just because I'm not used to that sleeve going on quite so easy. Y'all get to see the fail, right? Alright, so it may just be like I said, a right arm, left arm thing. But the, there it goes. Apparently, I left the arm dry too much. Okay. Oops. I flipped the sleeve the other way or else this isn't going to work. There we go. And it just pops right through. Several people have really um, told me how much they're interested in being able to get their suit on and off a little easier. So I'll tell you um, some of the features of my arm socks. And one is that for putting them on, they have this nifty little thumb hole. Once you get them on, I always recommend that you pull a little bit on the sleeve and carefully remove your thumb because while you're actually down there and moving and doing things, um, you might have a tendency to pull on that and it might have a tendency to pull on your hand there and hurt you a little bit. And I don't want that, obviously. Um, I made this to make it more comfortable, not less comfortable. So these are, and I'll just show you, these are my regular sleeves for scuba diving. Um, they're pretty long. They, I'm, I'm pretty tall. I'm about 5'9", five 5'10", five um, and they go pretty much all the way to my armpit. Okay, so um, they're pretty long. They have the thumb hole and they don't probably stay up really well when you're not diving. You can see this one's starting to roll down on me a little bit here. And if I'm moving, if I'm doing stuff um, without a wetsuit on top, they're probably not going to stay up as well as I would want them to. So I have another option, and this option is usually not available directly on my website. You have to email me for it um, or message me on Facebook or whatever. Um, 
but I do have this other option that has banded tops and these are some I made a while back to wear with my scrubs at work and um, I'm not sure how well you can see this there they're a little shorter the tops have a band that goes in the opposite direction of the cut of fabric so you can see it a little bit better that way this band is just a little um, less stretchy than the other um, part of the material so it holds in place a little bit better now I'm not going to promise if you're out doing jumping jacks or something that you're not going to have to pull them up occasionally um, but they do hold up a little bit better and this is a little bit more fashionable if you want to just wear it out somewhere um, as an arm sleeve um, like I said I call these arm socks that's a big thanks to my friend Amy for uh, coining that term for me I absolutely love it and before I let you go I'm gonna tell you the arm socks the dive socks a stuff and a headband in your choice and I'll get to tell you about some of the headbands later on but I am doing a giveaway worth over $70 and all you have to do to enter, you have to go to www.slimysocks.com slash giveaway. And slimy is S-L-Y-M-I. And if I haven't explained that before, that stands for scuba like you mean it. So um, go out there, enter my giveaway. Um, you get extra entries for every friend that you refer so share it through your once you enter you'll get your lucky URL and if you'll share through that or with that link then every friend that enters with that link will get you an extra three entries into the giveaway so enter and I hope somebody awesome wins I'm sure it will be thanks y'all